it is, you know, the season to be jolly, yes, as indeed. it were. You know, hop in the car, you know, visit the Rellos for Christmas lunch, yep. go out for a few drinks. But for many families, it is a, a time of sadness as they remember loved ones who've died or been injured on the roads, as seems to happen at this time of year. Now, Queensland's death toll is already higher this year than all of last year, with hundreds more left injured. And one person who knows the after effects of a road accident is James Lay, whose car crash in 2003 has left him perf- permanently injured. And he joins us in the studio this morning. Good morning, James. G'day, James. Oh, I better turn your mic on. That would probably that would probably help him. Like <laughs> G'day, James. Uh, and James's carer, Lana Barber, also joins us uh, in the studio this morning. G'day, Lana. G'day. How are you doing? Well, Lana, you are. You describe yourself as a dream weaver. That's right. My I apologies. Lo- no, well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Tell me. Lana, what does a Dreamweaver do? Okay. So an FSG Dreamweaver um, is a- available to anybody in the community. We we work with anyone that walks through the doors at FSG. Uh-huh. Um, so it's about creating um, an opportunity for people to discuss where things are at for them in their lives, um, having a look at what's what's working, what's not working, um, helping people to um, recognise um, the goals that they want to set to move forward and helping them to connect and link in and, and move towards those goals. Yep. So we're not talking about you um, helping with any of James's rehabilitation. No. Uh, it's, uh, it's about setting goals. It's about um, giving back a purpose that perhaps perhaps you, you feel you've lost when you've had a major accident. Yeah, well, I mean, in James's case, I guess, the dream weaving is, a, is as unique and individual as the people that walk through the door. So, I mean, in James's case, it was about setting those goals. And one of those that we've worked on is him connecting with the community to get his message out about the dangers of drink driving and, and sharing his, his journey. Yeah. James, so what do you remember? Do you remember that crash in 2003? No. No, you I, don't remember it? No. I just go of what my mum and dad had told me as well. Because I was in the coma for five and a half months. A coma for five and a half yes. months? Yes, mate. That's, a, that's an extraordinary yeah. amount of time. Did they think you'd make it, James? Well, hey, I read in my story, after three weeks in the coma, I showed sign I could breathe for myself so they did not turn off the lies of void as well. Mm. Unbelievable. And all that, yeah. you know, coming from just, you know, Christmas time, yeah. having a few drinks, jumping in the car. Yes, mate. Yeah, it's, it, well, it is life-changing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But thank God I only had her myself at the time. Mm. Yes. Mm. You were the only one in the car. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. Mm. Uh, I wonder, uh, James and Lana, how long it took for you to to connect mm. as uh, a dream weaver for mm-hmm. FSG yep. and for James, you, someone who is, you know, wanting to move on, how long did it take after the accident and as part of your recovery for you then to connect? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a funny story. I met yeah. um, James and his family just after yeah. I came on board with FSG. So it's been a couple of years um, that I have been connected to James yeah. and his family mm-hmm. and, and working towards some of those goals. Um, but I think you had been um, with FSG supports for a little bit longer than that before okay. we met uh, because yeah. James moved into an apartment near the office I was in and that's how we, we connected. So, yeah. Right. So what are your goals? What what does Lana do uh, for you? Basically, <laughs> everyone has ever do have got me far more mobile than before because now I can walk also walk with the walkers holding on to the hands as well. Yeah, I saw that as you, as you were coming yeah. into the studio this morning because yeah. being the ABC, it should be a little bit more yeah. accessible. Okay, okay, mate. <laughs> the, yeah. door, the door was quite tight, but you, mm. yeah, got, got in through the walker there. Thank um, you. Lana, what's it like, you know, seeing, seeing you know, what, progress, little bits of progress? It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Not that I've had anything to do with that. That's no, all no, hard no, work from course, James. But, but, but and, just and having I mean, that connection with James and seeing absolutely. those little steps forward. It's amazing to see after the you know, the long road that he uh, has been on to um, to be making that, that yeah. progress and getting more mobile yeah. and being more independent. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, now, uh, earlier... I, 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 I
and everyone. James talks that. about that all the time, yeah. how much of a difference FSG has made yes, in his so. life and helping him move forward. Yeah, yes, it's a, yes. oh, well, it's a, an amazing organisation. Of course, mm. FSG um, is a not-for-profit community organisation and it focuses on building the capacity of individuals and communities. And um, uh, speaking to Vicky Batten one day, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, your amazing. CEO, yep. she, I said to her, Look, tell me, what is, we hear a lot about FSG, but what does FSG do? And mm-hmm. she said... If if you want something to happen in your life, come to FSG because it's a uh, you know we we write the book as we go along. We find opportunities and connect people as we go along because everyone's got a unique situation. Absolutely, yeah. and it's about hearing those stories. Um, and sometimes you know we may have an answer or be able to help people find an answer. And other times it's about us um, you know working out where those gaps are in the community and 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 putting something into place. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, James, Lana, thank you so much for coming in today and having a chat with us.